Welcome back to the channel everyone, Melvin here with another Cycle Vibe video and today we're going to be installing two things on the 2022 uh, CB1000R. So the first thing is going to be frame sliders which uh, is going to mount right here on both sides. Then we're going to install the radiator guard. Um, you guys know this and this is one thing I talk about a lot is that the radiator doesn't seem to be really protected right behind the tires. And what the tire is going to do is just kick up rocks, kick up dirt, kick up everything else that you don't want to be kicked up. So, got the EvoTech frame slider and the EvoTech radiator guard. We're going to install both of them. Let's go. So 2.5 mil for these two. So all that is is um, Velcro that's just pushed in. All right, you're also gonna have one on the top. One on the top is gonna be a five. And you're gonna have one, two right here to remove as well. These are gonna be fives as well. You also have this guy that you're gonna have to punch out, but you can see this is pretty loose. And you should be able to just move this a little bit. But I do recommend just um, taking that one out, so let me go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna repeat the steps on the other side and I'll come right back. So for the frame sliders, we're gonna notice that we have two different sizes. Uh, the one on the right side is gonna be the shorter one, and the one on the left side is gonna be a longer one. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, you probably figure it out either way. Um, for the actual inside, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter uh, Allen key. So, so I actually had to go out and get one um, because I didn't have one in stock. Um, but you're gonna want one that actually fits in your um, ratchet, whether it's a quarter or three eighths. Uh, you're gonna want one that you can use a torque wrench with. As far as the, the actual bolt on here, currently it is gonna be a 17 millimeter 
um, to get it off. So once you get it off, you're gonna replace it with um, these guys and you're pretty much gonna discard them. Again, you're gonna need a 17 millimeter to remove the current bolts. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter Allen key to insert the new um, bolts and and when you're putting it back the torque spec is going to be uh, 59 newton meters or 43 and a half foot pounds of course you are going to need a um, torque wrench just to um, to get that set up so mine's already set so let's go ahead and we'll remove everything then we get everything installed all right so we're going to start with our uh, 17 millimeter socket So here's the spacer and the old bolt. And um, let's go ahead and we'll get um, the sliders on there. So for this, I am gonna use some Loctite. It is gonna be the blue Loctite. You don't need to apply a lot, guys. Just a little dab right there. Once you start securing it, it should um, do its job. All right, so there's that click, guys. Of course, that's what we're looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the other side. Again, this is gonna be the longer bolt. We have a longer spacer in here. Uh, we are gonna put a little Loctite on there. Again, this is the blue Loctite. And let's go ahead and we'll put the spacer back in and get it installed. Again, waiting for that click. So everything is installed, guys. We have the um, radiator guard right there. Um, looking really good. All blacked out. We have, of course, we have the, the frame slider just in case anything should happen. We are covered there. And um, Maybe it's a, a extra foot peg. We'll see how that works out um, once we get it on the road. Man, couldn't even get a spot if I wanted to. They deep, deep. another day man if y'all look right there the hurricane you can still see some of the debris and stuff a lot of trees got messed up you can see those big oak trees um, storm kind of messed everything up um, but good thing is that they still got the um, they still got it open so you can still come out and enjoy yourself but a lot of it is taped off you can see there damn that whole tree is gone. I was gonna bring the kids by today too, but maybe not even worth it. Man. Do a quick walk around show you guys the, the radiator guard and then we'll wrap this video up a real quick here's a look at the cb 1000 r with the upgrades that we talked about guys um here's a look at the radiator guard looks really good black on black this is from evil tech um like i said i really like the look of it look like it, it really belong on the bike uh, really good job with the design of this one um, the other thing of course that we installed is the frame sliders um, here's a look at it from the the back it is as I said that was a quick install it took about 15 minutes 
um, but overall like I said easy install these are from Evil Tech. I'll link them in the description the backpack is another uh, new addition uh, 60 something dollars um, on Amazon they do have different models um, but this is the one I decided to go with uh, just to kind of see the fit and feel if it messes up I don't really have much to lose I have I can buy another one but they do have some that, that's really expensive um, but I'll keep testing this and I'll let you guys know um, how it is